Lucy goes back to the office. Kids are back at school. Lovely and quiet. Just me, my little doggy down there, and Lucy's making lists. What was that? I forgot to do it. What was the last thing? What was it she said to do? If I ever forget something, snap my fingers to remember. Hang on. Good grief! I forgot we did that. That's what you meant by snap the fingers. Shouldn't you be at work? Yes. I am at work. What? No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm at oh, oh, no. It's happened again! You're back in my office because um, of the lockdown. Yes, I am. You're feeling a bit small. I'm feeling right? a bit small now. A bit of a letdown, wasn't it? <laughs> We're that back! We're today. back in the box. <laughs> my man cave. In the box. My Jacobite cave. I so welcome time. to TJC Online. So we thought today <laughs> yeah. we'd uh, do the session on something that Andy is not very good at. If you're going to start talking about marathons, no, go talk to like Sharon or Mandy Holdsworth or, you know, they do marathons, they're much better than me. No, I'm talking about remembering. I'm good at remembering. It's, fifth of I no left it's the 5th of November, recently. <laughs> Well, yeah, but what did I ask you to do this morning? Do you know what? I forgot. It was a what did he ask? a couple of days ago, wasn't what it? What did he say? No, it's not funny. I've got a bad memory. I asked you to Thank empty you. the dishwasher. Is it done? No. I'm sorry, I forgot. Did you do the hoovering? Yeah, I didn't. No. I forgot. Did um, you post that letter? How do you remember things? Do you remember them by writing it down? Do you remember it by your parents nagging you about it? wonder how you remember things. You know, Jesus asked us to remember him by doing a simple meal, bread and wine. Ooh, but hang on, like... I've got a better way of, of, of telling you about it. We things. can have some wine and bread. No. Can we get a wee bit of cheese as well? Roll the story. The Story of Easter, The Last Supper This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms. <laughs> and even raised people from the dead. Uh, wahoo! At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses when God brought his people out of Egypt. So Jesus was going to Jerusalem to celebrate. The disciples asked Jesus where he wanted to eat the Passover meal that night. Jesus said, as you go into the city, a man carrying a pitcher of water will meet you. Hello. Follow him. At the house he enters, say to the owner, uh, Hi. The teacher asks, Where is the guest room where I can eat the Passover meal with my disciples? He will take you upstairs to a large room that is already set up. That is where you should prepare our meal. The disciples found everything to be just as Jesus had said. Later that evening, Jesus arrived with the 12 disciples. They sat down to eat and Jesus said that he was happy to be with everyone. As they were eating, Jesus took some bread and blessed it. He said, take it, for this is my body, which is given for you. Jesus told them to do this to help remember him. Then he took a cup of wine and gave thanks to God for it. And he said to his disciples, This is my blood. It is poured out as a sacrifice to forgive the sins of many. Jesus said, One of you eating with me here will betray me. He told them that things were supposed to happen this way, but that great sadness would await the one who betrays him. 
The disciples were very upset and asked, Am I the one? Who is he talking about? Judas asked Jesus, Am I the one? And Jesus said, You have said it. One of the disciples asked Jesus, Lord, who is it? Jesus said it was the one who he would give the bread to. He gave the bread to Judas, and Jesus said, Hurry and do what you're going to do. None of the others at the table knew what Jesus meant, so Judas left at once to betray Jesus. Then Jesus comforted and encouraged the disciples. He promised them that they would have a helper come when Jesus was gone. They all sang a song to God together. It's about us remembering what Jesus did on the cross. Yeah. His bread, the bread symbolizes his body being broken. About um, Jesus' body on the cross being broken. About the blood, the blood being spilled. From the uh, from the wounds that was inflicted on him, that he didn't deserve. He didn't deserve. But we also remember that that wasn't the end of the story. No, and no. you know from the Easter story, and because we go on about it, because it's so fundamental, so important to our faith, is that Jesus didn't stay dead. He came alive. He defeated death. So when we were, when we used the communion to remember. Uh, the sadness of the crucifixion, we also use it to remember that Jesus is Lord and that he rose again. So it's something maybe you can chat with about with your parents. Mm. When you're ready to take communion, that's your choice. Okay, we thought rather than having a quiz this time, how oh. about we did a game? Well that how might be easier because to be honest with you, you do the quiz and I always forget the answers anyway. So how good are you that's cool. at remembering? Well, we're going to do the tray game, no. or the Kim's game, or however you want to call it. The I'll generation tell you, game. I'll that, tell you what, like... we'll just do it now. Here you go. Dear God, we thank you firstly, always, that you never forget us. You will never forget us nor forsake us. And that's so important for us to remember. You're always there, Lord. And I just pray, Lord, that you will always remind us of your presence so that we never forget you either. So when we make a big decision or a little decision, whether we're scared or whether we're happy, we always turn to you, Lord, never to forget you because of everything that you've done for us. We thank you for that, and we say, I love you. Amen. Amen. So, we are in lockdown, and so things are, <laughs> things are changing. So there will be no TJC in person throughout the month of November. However, we're still here online, and we're gonna be um, trying to do some other different things online as well, so please, Keep an eye out on the emails, on Facebook, on Instagram. Um, tell your parents to just uh, keep an eye on what's going on. Anyway, for now, bye! bye.